Welcome Matt Freeman's Space Bunker. I'm Matt Freeman. Okay, today I'm gonna to do a video on this bass. This is my 1969 Fender Jazz Bass. I've had this for quite a while. I picked this up in Chicago in the late 90s, and I was specifically looking for a bass like this at the time. Um, I've always loved this uh, Sunburst from the 60s and the uh, Ebony Fretboard with the uh, Mother Pro inlays and the binding. And uh, this one is what I would call a player's uh, bass, and that's just because it's just been played a lot. You can see a lot of like wear here and all kinds of stuff, but I'll go into more of that in a close-up video. Uh, as far as jazz basses go, it's pretty straightforward. It's got two single coil pickups, and it's got volume, volume, and tone. And it's stock, um, not completely stock. I've had this thing so long, the pickups uh, stopped working at one point, at least this one did. Uh, and these pots got really bad where it barely worked. Luckily, my friend Brian Thrasher down at the um, Fender Research and Development Model Shop went through and redid all the pickups and all the pots to make it like stock. So it's, it's awesome. It has a really straight neck. It's a little wonky right here. But otherwise, it's a jazz bass. And uh, these are a little different than precision basses. Um, they have a little bit different tone. You can get all kinds of different tones out of them. But this is a really good sounding one. It's really bright. Okay, I'm gonna do a close-up video and show you guys more about this. Okay, so here's the close-up video. Um, as you can see, it's that sunburst I was talking about, that real cool 60s like sunburst. It also had a hint of green in it and has a straightforward bridge. This is way out here, but it seems to be doing fine. Um, volume tone controls. It's got a, a tortoise shell pick guard. And down on the body, at least, all this damage in here. And I mean, not damage, it's just, you know, wear, basically. Um, you know, the paint's come off and been worn in. I didn't do any of that. Uh, that was like it when I bought it. Um, this is what I would call a player bass, at least that's what I call them. And what I mean, mean by that, you go into a guitar shop and you have this like line of basses, you have really pristine ones that are really expensive, but then you find something like this that's been, you know, played hard, and, you know, taken care of probably, but played hard and uh, it's not as expensive. So those are the ones I look for. And so anyway, the neck is pretty straightforward. It's just your ebony neck with the mother pro inlays, they're all in good shape. And then um, you've got the headstock there which is really cool because over the years, probably playing in a million smoky clubs, it's gotten that cool like nicotine finish on it. Uh, as you can see, you know, it's pretty cool. And you know, basically the tuners, all that stuff. I've never done anything with this. I've never polished it or anything like that. Um, it's like I said, except for the getting the pickups rewound and the pots, the, I mean, the pots basically disintegrated after a while. There's plastic in there and they came apart. Uh, I'm talking about these right here, but um, they're all replaced and it's all to spec. So it's pretty cool. And you know, you turn over the back. And again, like I said, someone had a big belt buckle here, whoever gigged with this. And uh, you know, it is what it is. But um, it's got a lot of, you know, history to it. I wish I knew the history to it, but I don't. But whoever played it played a lot of shows because you just don't get that sitting in your closet. Okay, so that's about it on the close up. All right, so there you go. A little information on this. Uh, let me know down in the comments uh, what you guys think, what you might want to see on the channel. And like always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.